were to proceed against the enemy and not delay to rescue passengers or cargo? Yes, sir. Will you explain why you gave orders to stand by? I felt so that I could prepare for rescue work and yet lose no time in launching my depth bombs. You did not actually rescue any passengers? No, sir. But you uh, did stand by for that purpose? At the time, there was no necessity to use our guns. Just answer the question. Yes, sir. We did stand by for a limited time, sir. That is all. You say you lost no perceptible time? I pursued the submarines as soon as sighted. Did the sinking of the ship retard your decision to pursue the submarines? No, sir. Not to any extent. That is all, Lieutenant Weather. Are there any further questions? Lieutenant Winter, you may retire. His line of duty is clearly defined. He should have proceeded against the enemy craft and given no thought to risk it until he had routed or met the enemy in combat. If it is clear to you that Lieutenant Winter neglected his duty, it is your duty to find him guilty. Whether or not he lost any perceptible time is not to be considered, nor is it of interest to us what motives may have actuated him. Gentlemen, we will proceed with the ballot. You have been found guilty, Lieutenant Winter. Our recommendation is that you be relieved from further duty. Until you receive the official verdict, you will confine yourself to quarters. probably recognize it. Here is where you will locate the safe. Hmm. 
Oh, Captain Litter. This is the man who will do the diving job. I have my own diver. For personal reasons, I prefer that you use this man. He has had experience as a deep sea diver and is carrying out a special commission for me. Anything else you find below, we will divide between you as per an agreement I have drawn up. He is the only man who can locate the sunken steamer. And why is he the only man? That is information that I prefer to withhold. And uh, this thing you're after? That also is information that I would rather not disclose. Sign here, please. No trace. Gentlemen, I want immediate action. How is it that I am respected and feared up and down the coast for my bravery, shrewdness, wisdom, by everyone but you? I trust no one. My dear, this cafe business has hardened you. I'll be glad when you come into your inheritance so that you will get away from this rotten business. Business is what you make it. You needn't be in any business. You should be on a throne. Like a queen, surrounded by flowers and jewels and whatnot. I've heard all that before. What are the chances of success? The chances are too good to suit me. No doubt you will find the will in fact. You will come into your inheritance and I... I'll become a thing forgotten. A thing apart. Back to oblivion. Money? Oh, well, that's all that matters. That's all I'm after. That's all you should care about. It was, till I met you. Then, I made it my life's work to try and bring a little happiness into your life. I know all about that, too. Evelyn. Don't do that. Oh, how I hate men. Always wanting their hands on me. Stick to business. I wouldn't have you or anyone else. Take your time apart. Thank you. Mate, make ready and stand by. We're coming off. Where are we, sir? I'll tell you later. Aye, aye, sir. Hello, hello, ship ahoy, I say there. Uh, can you tell me, uh, where might the yacht of Gloriana be? Well, she might be in berth 42, if you hadn't sailed this morning. I beg your pardon? She's gone. She's sailed. She's beaten. Oh, really? I, I missed it, uh, so to speak. Then uh, I say, skipper, uh, how about uh, taking me out to her? Uh, catching up with her sort of thing. Well, I might lend you a diving suit. You can start walking after her. No, 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 look here. I, I'm serious. Really, I am. I'm quite serious about this. Stalls above me. It's Greg Winter. 
As I live by breathing, who would have expected me to you? What ho and he's ho. You look like a jolly old pirate. All rough and most frightfully ready. I did tell me what you're doing, hijacking or something? No, first, no. Get your bags and come up, come forward here. I, I say, my good man, now you might bring my luggage along, will you? Greg, oh, people. really. I, I, I'm in luck, you know. I smell adventure. I'd have been bored to death on the Gloriana. The Kingsley Beard crowd, you know. Bad bridge and worse liquor. No, no, I rather fancy I'll stay here with you. You might get your feet wet first. Feet? Oh, my eye. How about getting our noses wet? Look. <laughs> oh, there you are. Anything else, sir? Do you want your pants pressed? No, I had them done just before I came on board. Uh, thanks all the same. But uh, a little ice and uh, some ginger ale, eh, Greg? Sorry, sir. We're just out of ice. But how would a sock on the nose do? Please. First, Mr. Atwater, this is Mr. Bacon, my mate. Oh, I say, I, I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Bacon, really. I apologize. Uh, no offense, eh, Bacon? Uh, dear old ham? Jolly old baloney? <laughs> you see, uh, you must forgive my stupidity, but I'm not a seagoing fish uh, like you. Fish? Oh, wrong again. Here, one sip of this, and uh, you won't find me such a bad chap. Two sips and you'll love the whole world. Thanks, Mr. Uh, uh, dishwater, old bean. Uh, it's quite all right. No, the fellow's not a fish. He, he's a sponge. <laughs> I think you'll like this. I get it through my marine connections. I'm studying marine law, you know, and all that sort of rot. Yeah. There we are. There we are. But uh, you, Greg, after all these years, hey-ho. Yes, I know. Thanks to you, Percy. We'll form me all through it. That was rotten luck. You know, it kept you clean out of the war, didn't it? Yes, but I'm about to have one of my own shortly. Then I'm right. Adventure, eh? Hooray, hooray, hooray. Oh, well, fun. here's to it. <sighs> well, Captain? This is the spot. Here, yeah, I... Okay. You know, I, I think this is all very interesting. <laughs> uh, do you use all these gadgets? Well, uh, practically all, first. Hmm, very interesting indeed. <laughs> all right, boy. I say, look here, isn't there anything that you'd like to take with you? Uh, how about a nice hot cup of coffee? I say a telephone. That's amazing. <laughs> Every modern convenience. Send me.
Trap. They're down. All right, mate, they're on the bottom. On Hold the, the line. On the bottom, I see how he's fighting. I wonder what it's like down there. I'll ask him if there's anything he wants. He's probably all cold and wet. Poor old thing. Your friend wants to know if he can send you anything. Huh. Yeah, he said a lot of air. Yeah, why say plenty of air, plenty of air, boys, plenty of air. Located the boat and they're going aboard. Going aboard, I see. How exciting! I'd love to know what it's like down there. <laughs> huh? He says the other divers saying his prayers down there. <laughs> <laughs> Gracious me! I say that, that's very odd. It's not rather odd. Extraordinarily odd. I I got you. Hey, mate. Hey, I want you to lower a line. Hey, bring in that hook line. Right here. Coming down. All secure, mate. Bring it up. Heave ho! I got dinner biscuits, some seaweed on the top. See you back again. <laughs> That's it. There we are. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> How's the weather down there? Very sure. You all right? Mate, take that safe up to my cabin. Aye, aye, sir.
Ludwig, as soon as you're dressed, come up to my cabin. Okay. I'll be up in a minute. See what's in this box. Stow that gab and get below. Well, what do you think we came down here for? Stow that. It was lucky for him he left when he did. But uh, I say, uh, you need a little something after your generous efforts, won't you? What is it like at the bottom of the jolly old bridey? Hey, yeah. do tell me. Here we are. Well, Captain. Robbing your own graveyard, eh? I beg your pardon? Captain Ludwig. And you? One of your victims? As the man said when he looked at the ten-cent map, the world's a small place after all, isn't it? I knew I'd find you. I failed to understand. No wonder you knew where to find the Alatania. You should have. You knew where you sank her. Does that help the fog lift? Why, that little incident cost me... well, too much to mention. And yet so much that I'm tickled pink to find you here. Why then, Captain, I had a command at sea and respect on land, and now I haven't even a uniform. Now do you realize why you have two perfectly good reasons for dying? I was under orders. But I suppose that makes no difference to you. Well, what are you going to do with me? Well, until I decide what I'm going to do with you, you'll remain my prisoner. Good night, Captain Ludwig. Auf Wiedersehen, Herr Kapitän. Oh, very interesting, very interesting. I say, I'd like to know what's in this box. Let's find out, shall we? No, 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 first go and help. I help. No word. I thought as much. Anything I ever get, I'll have to slave for. My dear child, we cannot control the element. Diving is a dangerous business. I do not know whether they have failed or uh, succeeded. Why? Why should you concern yourself about such matters when you know that you have me and my fortune at your disposal? with one handicap, if that could be removed. Handicap? Tell me, let me fight it for you. You know that I would die to serve you. If you have lost your inheritance forever, see what you have gained in its stead. The undying eternal devotion of a protector, a provider, a lover, Evelyn. You take that popcorn out again and I'll spank you. Who else, Captain Ludwig? I've got some business with you later. Would you mind leaving me alone with the worm? These are my rooms, not an office. And I don't allow men to come here. The point's not badly taken. But you or your room mean nothing to me. I'm here strictly on business. If you have business with Mr. Sykes, he has an office. And my business is in reference to your uncle's will. Both of them. One of which he left you everything, and the other of which he left to your cousin Bruce. How could you know? My cousin went down on the steamer with my uncle. Unless... Unless... he never sailed. You? Bruce? No. This is the man I hired. Where is Captain Ludwig? Be quiet, or I'll bite you. Mr. Um, Sykes. 
Thanks. I could be anybody in the world so far as you're concerned and get away with it. Have you a room handy? Across the hall. Thank you. Uh, come on, Mr. Uh, Sykes. Sykes, thanks. Here are the papers, and that's as close as you're going to get to them. Ludwig, what have you done with him? So you and this Bruce fella had it all framed to steal that girl's inheritance, huh? Who's there? Oh, Greg, there you are. As my representative, will you explain in your best legal manner to Mr. Uh, Sykes that the jig is up? And don't shoot him. <laughs> You'll tend to one talking to death. Now then, Mr. Sykes, what have you got to say? Shut up! Sit down! You, I don't allow yes. men. But you see, <clears throat> I just found out something very interesting. Your boyfriend, you know, funny face, and he's been in communication with your cousin Bruce. It seems the scheme was to get your goofy uncle to make a new will leaving the entire estate to Bruce and destroy the previous one, which of course left you the works. Now, the new document was never signed, or it was signed. And as I happen to hold all the papers, well, it's up to me to deal the cards, isn't it? Now, you split with me 50-50, and you get the original. No play. I split with Funny Face 50-50, and we probate the new document. And if there's no signature on the new will? Well, that's for me to know. Well, why don't you go through with it, then? Why let me in on it? Well, I thought it would be more entertaining dealing with you. Oh. Another chic. Missed? It would be very easy to uh, split with the boyfriend. You know, funny face. But with you, I'd, I'd kind of have to watch my step. How do you figure that? A woman will double cross you every chance. I see. I thought you were expecting other spoils, too. No. <laughs> you don't appeal to me in the least. Just flesh, and bone, and perfume. Nicely put together for someone else. But ordinary is the deuce to me. Well, the war's on. Which way do you play? I play alone. I'll keep my half. Here's your half till we get together. I have no place to hide it. Your friend accidentally discharged the revolver and he is hurt. Did I tell you about that once before? Don't go. It may be a trap. 
Worried about me? No. Put me down. Put me down. Don't worry about me. It'll be through him I get shot. Let me go. Shut up. Don't you go. Well, my hair. This is fine. Shall we start shooting? I thought we were going to have this out fairly. His idea, not mine. I had no intention of shooting. You take too many chances. You see, nobody likes you. Likes him? Has that begun at him? We act for those bumps around as though holding him. Don't use that. We'll have it out on arm. Great Scott! It's false! Greg, it's false! I, I, I'm terribly sorry, really I am. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Right. Don't lose your sense of humor. You'll need it. At your service. Say, you're asking a lot. Stealing the captain's ship is good for a long stretch. If you were out of the way, you would be in command, wouldn't you? Yeah. How much cash in advance do I get for the job? What would you suggest? What are you getting out of it? That makes no difference. I'll give you 500 and take care of the crew besides. Take the captain now. You get up there. If he starts getting rough, We're not getting any place this way. Now let's get right down to business. Who and where is this Bruce? You're likely to find out anything from me now, aren't you, Captain? Those papers you found in the safe, they belong to me. Well, tell me what you want with them and maybe I'll give them to you. Then you'll play along with me? Well, maybe. You found two wills in that safe. Were they both signed? <laughs> well, I know, but you don't. Say, what's all the delay in settling this estate? Well, uh, um... Oh, sort of a corpus delecti, eh? When the body of the deceased isn't found, as in this case, then seven years must elapse before the estate can be settled, eh? You grasp the idea immediately, Winter. Now is the time I need those documents. Tell me, were they signed? Yes, both of them. Show me that, prove it, and I'll go in the deal with you. I'll tell you the whole business. Signed before they went down, eh? Mm -hmm. Before they went down, yes. So Bruce was on the Alitania, eh? That's what I wanted to know. Yes, he was. He went along with his uncle to get him to sign the second will. Mm, now we're getting somewhere. So you were going to palm somebody off as Bruce and split the money, weren't you? Yes. We can still split it. Three ways. The estate is worth a million. The old man made it all in cotton. Quite sure not a worm. You've grown up. You're a snake. Why, with Bruce dead, the estate was the girls all the time, will or no will. <laughs> and now you daren't tell her the truth. And I don't know whether I will or not. Well, you wanted the money and the girl both. Now listen to this, Sykes. If I ever so much as even hear you speaking to that girl again, I'll treat you the same as I would any other snake. And don't forget that. Well, 
You were a lot of assistance. Well, what did you expect me to do? When I hit the captain, I'm going to make sure he don't get up again. So the estate is worth a million, eh? Don't you think you could be a little bit more liberal? All right, I'll give you a thousand. When we get on the ship. Well, that's a little better. But how about a share in the estate? Oh, all right. Get your men together and be at the Marine Cafe tonight. All right. salvage your inheritance and then throw me overboard, you do it. And it's done before. Who hasn't who has trusted woman? Hate them all, huh? Oh. All. Most sailors love them all. Ooh. I might give you a sailor's love. You couldn't give me anything. No. You can't have fallen a little at that, aren't you? Not in the slightest. Why are you hanging around up here? For two reasons. First is you have half that paper. The other is I was sort of watching you prepare to snare me. You were watching what? Well, we watched your dress, watched your doll up, and watched your perfume. Just how much did you watch? From start to finish. Men here. Oh, quit kidding. Get out! I might tear up my half of that paper. Tear it up and get out! No. But have an understanding. Just to teach you that I'm immune from a woman's bag of tricks. That means nothing. Now that. Now that. Alice to business. My lawyer will take the document and probate. Are you ready to get out now? Oh, so you are stuck a little, eh? Yes! By the pin, not by you. You bully. Well, maybe I did overdo it a little. Now you get out of here. When I want your papers, I'll take them. Make a deal with you. You knife me in the back. Where is the will? You're funny, big boy. That's my bodyguard out there. You haven't a chance in a hundred. At your service, Lady Catholic. And uh, no men come here. So, you're a lady killer as well as If it? we are gentlemen. Sorry, Captain. So you are the Queen's favorite. 
We had one score to settle. Now it seems we have another. Catherine, you mind taking me downstairs? Mit Vergnügen. I'm a friend. I was employed to go down to the wreck. You see, I've been paid in advance. I have neither designs on you or your fortune. And why did you attempt the undertaking? Just a whim. I had a prayer to say at the bottom of the ocean. I say, look here, you're not falling for that sort of woman, are you? Oh, my eye. <laughs> Uh, of course, I shouldn't interfere. I mean, uh, a good lawyer always encourages marriage for the sake of the divorce fee he gets later on. <laughs> you have my deepest sympathy. If you're not lying to me, it's the same motive as the other. I do not blame you for being skeptical. You, I can see, have been surrounded by birds of prey, perhaps since childhood. I think you are a remarkable woman. Being double crossed or not. Get rid of the other man, too. There's a room back here. Will you join me?
Hello, you be fighting too? Hello, <laughs> so, what's this? Well, what's the meaning of this? Evelyn. Yeah? They took her. What? A he? Yes. Which way? In there. Right, well, I'm off for it. My great, great. Here, come on, you've got to get out of here. Yeah. Quick, come on. We've got to get busy. Right. Come on, pull yourself together. Come on. Now listen, Sykes, you jump at conclusions. Perhaps I, I really prefer you after all. Whatever you do or not, it's me you're going to have. Oh, what about the will? Mm -hmm. The money? I'm not interested in that. I have the will. Let's bargain. <laughs> Where you got it? I have it with me. Are you all right? Yeah. Give me that. Stop it, you. Take this. That'll keep them quiet. Right here, Greg. I'll stand here and surround them. We'll find that sudden collect our dough. Heads up! Higher! Now sit down! Sit down! No, 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 that, that'll do. Now then, let's see if we can't come to a nice amicable arrangement. Now we're well, well, no, 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 no back chat. Now don't be fighting, Cleaver Skin. Leave everything in my hands. Well, you wouldn't fight fair, eh? You made some crack about being a gentleman. Now you're gonna get it any way you want it. What are you talking about? That 
hasn't there been as much as this? You don't even know who this man is. He has a debt to pay, several of them. That's not true. He has paid. Show him. Tell him. No, Paul and Evelyn, he wants his fight. He is entitled to it, and he is going to get it. I forbid this. You can't go. Best place for you is out here. No. I won't go. Winner. I received this letter after the destruction of the steamer. Weeks later, when I returned to Germany. I guess you've suffered enough. You can take the boat I came out in. You won't be molested. Thank you, Captain. And there he goes. Let us get our dough. All right, don't let him get away. Go, dog. You go and get. Go get him, boys. Back. Hurry up, Good. quick.
You have a license to marry, haven't you? Well, then, marry us. I refuse. All right, boys. Uh, all right. All right, I'll be the best man. Right, all right. You promise to love, honor, and protect this woman till death do you part? I do. You promise to love, honor, and obey this man till death do you part? Yes. You have the ring? Oh. Oh, well, look here. Here, here. here you are. Here's my mother's wedding ring. Uh, bless her heart. There we are. Thank you, Bert. Place the ring on the third finger of the left hand. We now pronounce you man and wife. All right, boys, toss him over. Here, 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 wait, 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 uh, ju just a minute. You can't go like that. You're positively nude. Here, 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 here we are. There now. There we are. Hee ho! Hee ho! Cheerio, boy, cheerio. Come, boy, Arch. I say, Greg, uh, Greg, uh, tell me, will you, uh, dear old fellow, tell me, how does this thing function? <laughs>